Shake your thing. <laughs> the Matrix? Uh, I've never heard of it. Because it doesn't open till this weekend. There's going to be dancing, pool tables, video games. Yo, it's going to be tight. <laughs> That's cool, man. You guys work there? Work? <laughs> We're not working there. We're the managers. Thank you very much. What do you guys know about managing a club? Well, all we need to know is my Uncle Zippy owns the place, and he totally trusts us. Oh, well, when you got the trust of a guy named Zippy, what more do you need? <laughs> We want all of you guys down there open tonight. Okay. 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 Check it out. It's going to be open tonight. And people want to see you there. <laughs> what are you guys up to now? Oh, it's a new dance club. Yeah, and we're the managers, and we're going to get like a lot of people to come, and it's going to make a lot of money. You know and... what? I just remembered something. I don't care. <laughs> guys, guess what? I have a big, big secret, and if you're lucky, I might tell you. You're trying out for the school paper? <gasps> Antonio, you told them. <laughs> well, I didn't tell him you only up against one of the girls. Well, who's the other girl? I don't know, but my sources tell me she's a real flake. <laughs> hey, guys. Guess who's trying out for the school paper? <laughs> you? Yep. It's between me and some cheerleader, and you know what airheads they are. <laughs> no offense. Oh, none taken. Oh, so which cheerleader am I up against? The brunette who can't remember any of the cheers or that blonde who keeps falling off the pyramids? <laughs> Oh, it's the airhead redhead. But you're the only redhead. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, yeah. This is going to get nice and ugly. Don't be silly. Mary Beth and I have been friends way too long to let this come between us. Absolutely. I hope you get it. Oh, no, no, no. I hope you get it. Oh. <laughs> well, I got to go. Good luck finding a good story, Mary no, Beth. No, no, no. Good luck to you. No, to you. you. I need your opinion. I've got two great stories for the... Okay. What are they? Well, it's either the new Graffiti Proof Lockers or the new driver's ed teacher is named Ed Driver. <laughs> Cute, huh? <laughs> Gee, they're both so exciting. I'm going to have to sit down. You're right. They suck. Mm -hmm. Well, now what? Mary Beth's going to win and I'll never hear... Oh, Mary Beth. <laughs> hey, Christy, did you find a story yet? Oh, yeah. A really exciting one. Huge. Oh, good for you. Because I had two hot stories, I was going to give you one. Oh. Well, I, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to tell me what it is. You know, reporter to reporter. Mm. Well, <clears throat> no one's supposed to know this, but uh, Coach is very sick. He is? Oh, it's so sad. Oh, you lie. He's perfectly healthy. No, I'm serious. I was snooping through the papers on his desk. In capacity as team manager, of course. <laughs> and I saw it. What? his medical reports, and the doctor wants to put him in the hospital right away. Well, after I stopped crying, I thought of you. I mean, since you're so into medicine, I thought you'd do a better job with the story. Yeah, well, maybe I will look into it. I owe you one, Mary Beth. Bye, Joe. Right. <laughs> Coach isn't sick, is he? Nope. You're sending her off on a wild goose chase, aren't you? Yep. You are so bad. Just call me Dr. Evil. <laughs> Of one of your patients, Mike Katowinski. 
Oh, yes, you can give me that information. I'm Mrs. Katowinski. <laughs> what? He told you he wasn't married? Oh, wait till I get a hold of him. <laughs> Anyways, I know he just had a physical, and he never tells me anything. Is he okay? Why don't you ask him? <laughs> never mind. <laughs> I knew you were there. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is that about? Oh, Coach, I know everything. I know how sick you are. I'm not sick. I'm in perfect health. You are? The only thing I'm sick of is you kids. <laughs> well, then why would Mary Beth... Oh, she is so dead. Oh. Hey, this is a cool club. Hey, hey, party people. Welcome to the Matrix. We have a table just for you on the dance floor. Best seats in the house. Come right here. Thanks, man. Check out who just came in. Oh, that's John Dalton. He always has, like, a ton of people with him. And tons of people means tons of cash. Oh, well, we better make sure he's a satisfied customer. Come on. Yo, John, 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 my man. Friends of John, welcome to the Matrix. I've got your table. I've got your table. <laughs> Best seats in the house. Hey, that's really cool. Thanks a lot. All right, everybody, you can't sit here. Table's reserved. What are you doing? What happened to Best Seats in the House? You'll get fast service at the bar. Come on, people. Uh, up, 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 up. Oh, don't even touch your wallet. The first round is on us. <laughs> hey, oh, can't beat that. Lady, lady. <laughs> Mikey, you gotta see, man. They got the new Star Wars game in there. Uh, dude, how old are you? What? I got a high score. And when they asked for my initials, I typed in butt. <laughs> cool, man. That's awesome. Hey, I'm gonna... How old are you? <laughs> Come on, Mikey. Come on, Mikey. Mary Beth, I really owe you big for that story that you gave me on Coach. Oh. Yeah, Mary Beth, don't you have something that you want to tell Christy? No. Oh, lighten up, Zena. <sighs> okay. I made up that story about Coach. He's fine. No, he isn't. My dad found out he has dangerously high cholesterol. He said even one french fry could kill him. What? Yeah, the man's a walking time bomb. Oh, my gosh, poor Coach. I you know, it's so upsetting. I can't start writing the story till tomorrow. Tomorrow, huh? Where did this night go? Ooh, bye. Bye. What a maroon. <laughs> you made all that up so she would steal your story, didn't you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> so, Eugene, I was just in the bathroom with John Dalton. Yeah? So what? He didn't wash his hands? Well, listen to me. He was with this guy and he was selling a marijuana. What? Are you sure? Yes. What are we going to do? Well, we can't just do nothing. The guy was selling pot at our club. I mean, are you sure it was marijuana? That stuff looks a lot like oregano. Maybe they just like Italian food. Yeah, and they snuck off to the bathroom to exchange pizza recipes. <laughs> Come on, man. We've got to tell somebody. Come on. I'll, I'll call Uncle Zippy. Okay. Hey, it's the boys. Man, that club of yours is the only thing anyone's talking about. Yeah, you were the two luckiest guys on the planet. Hey, you guys must be raking in the bucks. Oh, man, I wouldn't say raking. You know, it's more like bulldozing. <laughs> Down low. Bulldozing. All right, man. What are you doing? Well, I'm calling Uncle Zippy. Oh, hold up. If you call Uncle Zippy, that means he'll call the cops and people will find out and parents will let their kids come. If we have no more customers, that means there's no more club. No more club means... <gasps> no more hotties! <laughs> Wait, but nothing bad will happen to us if we don't report it. Right, so let's not report it. Report what? <laughs> I'm right with you. Down low. Up top. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Are 
are you doing? It's called eating lunch. <laughs> Cheeseburger, french fries, that stuff will kill you. We all gotta go sometime. And now, it's time for you to go. Hey, is that Larry Bird? Where? It's not him. Mm. Oops, clumsy me. <laughs> what are you doing? What's going on? What are you doing? I'm saving your life. A man with high cholesterol should not be eating this junk. What? I know you're trying to be brave, but I don't want to lose you. Larry Ben, get off me. The doctor just gave me a clean bill of health. You mean you're not dying? Not unless you annoy me to death. Well, then why would Christy say... Oh, she is so dead. Dude. Hey, Dalton. What's up? Guy talk. Fascinating. I didn't know you guys knew him. Yeah, he's okay. Not what I hear. I heard he's been dealing. That'd be stupid. What's so stupid about playing cards? Friends getting together, sharing a snack? But Christy, it's not that kind of dealing. Yeah, I'm talking about selling pot. Marijuana? <laughs> is a bad thing. Very bad thing. Anyway, it's, it's just a rumor I heard. You know, Christy, that'd be a good story for the paper. Hmm. Popular boy mixed up with drugs? Oh, that sounds front page to me. Mm -hmm. Ah! Stop it! What are you doing? We're not friends anymore. I want my skirt back. Are you insane? We're in the middle of the hall. I don't care. You set me up. You humiliated me in front of Cole. Is you dumb? got a great story and we can write it together. It'll get us both on the paper. You'll do all the typing? Yes. I'm in. Okay. So, is that my shirt? No, no, no. Oh, good idea with the sign, Eugene. Well, I don't want any hotties wandering around wondering where the club is. Huh. Always thinking of others. <laughs> Excuse me. I understand that you two run the Matrix. <laughs> Word do get around, don't it? Detective Monroe, Daring Police. <laughs> he did it! Uh, I, 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 I. We have a tip that some guy's selling drugs at your club. Have you seen anything suspicious? I think I saw something. But I'm not sure if I did. We didn't know what to do, where to go, who to call. Hold me. Hey, hey, listen. We need your help to catch the guy. Whatever you need. Christy, someone dealing drugs is such a great story. Yeah, but we don't have any proof. I know. We'll go to the club and we'll get Dalton to sell us some pot. What? You want us to get arrested? That could go on our permanent record. Permanently. <laughs> Stopping you for a minute. We're not really going to buy it. We're just going to pretend so that we can prove he's selling it. Oh. Okay, I just don't want to get in any trouble. Like the cops have nothing better to do than hang around some teen club waiting for someone to sell marijuana. We just hang around your club and wait for the guy to sell marijuana. <laughs> when he does, we jump all over him and the low lights he's selling it to. Hi, guys! <laughs> We're sure glad you're here, guys. I mean, anything we can do to help, just let us know. We want you guys to do nothing. Okay, we're good at that. We're gonna blend in. Just don't let anyone know who we are. <laughs> now, this is terrible. It's gonna be like a big bust and it'll ruin everything. So calm down. I mean, maybe John won't have any customers. <laughs> this won't work. No one's gonna believe I'm a pot buyer. Relax, you look disgusting. Really? Because I'm kind of getting used to this nose ring. Although, you know, it does make me a little <sighs> sneezy. <gasps> oh, it's stuck! Let me wear the nose ring. I'll look cool. Yeah, real cool, hanky face. Oh. Yeah. Hey, guys, looks like a big crowd tonight. Yeah, but it's nothing. It's going to be a real calm night. Nothing out of the ordinary is going to happen. <laughs> hmm. So, Antonio, where's Christy tonight? Uh, she said she and Mary Beth had something to do for the paper. 
Come on, guys, let's go play some more air hockey. You two against me. Hey, you guys about us 10 points? Uh, don't I always? <laughs> Yo. Cool if we sit down? Give me a minute, guys. So, um, this place is really, um, tight, huh? Yeah, it's not bad. Do you know what I could use? Something to kind of mellow me out. Some stuff. Stuff? Yeah, you know. Weed, gauge, dope, reef from Mary Jane. Do a blunt. Uh, anyway, we heard you could help us. Who said that? Come on, John, you the man. Everybody knows that. So what are you looking for? Whatever you got. Maui Wowie, domesticated skunk bud, Panama Red, Deering Gold. We're looking for an even buzz, nothing too harsh. Get ready. Looks like our boys got some business. Oh no. Those girls are talking to Dalton. Those aren't girls. That's Christine Mary Beth. Yo, we gotta get them away from them. It's 50 bucks. You got the cash? Yeah, we got the cash. But you don't see the cash till we see the stash. Mary Beth, get out of here. Go away. What's the deal here? Police, you're under arrest. Oh, hey, I didn't do anything. Boy, you guys are cops? But you don't understand, we're not pot buyers. We're doing this for school. Yeah, right. No, to see, we're in the sky. Yeah, we're nice girls. I have a straight A average. I'll make sure we put that in our report. Let's go. No, but you don't understand. Uh, we're doing this for school. Oh, my God. Hey, hey, come on, Michael. Hey, let go of him, man. You stay out of this. Well, look at the bright side, Christy. We got the story. Yeah, but we won't be able to write it because we'll be in jail. <laughs> yeah, that's not the right side. Thanks for being so understanding. Thanks for coming down and straightening things out. Do you mind if I talk to them for a minute? Be my guest. Okay. I'm not going to get angry. I just want to know one little thing. What the heck were you thinking? <laughs> you two. Even if you're doing research for the paper. Messing around with dope dealers is dangerous. Yeah, we kind of figured that out. Did I ask you to talk? Oh. And no crying. And you knuckleheads. We're not crying. <laughs> not telling anybody about Dalton selling dope right from the beginning was a big mistake. You're the club managers for crying out loud. Not anymore. They shut down the club and we got fired. Well, you should have been fired. As managers, everything that happened here was your responsibility. You're right. We, we should have told somebody. Yeah. Your uncle, me, the cops, even if the guy is a good customer. Coach, we're sorry. We got greedy. And stupid. Got stupid. <laughs> All right. I think we're done here. And you're lucky I don't have to take you in. Oh. oh. Thank you. Thanks again. I need you to fill out some forms. be back, right? <laughs> he knows we're still handcuffed. He's not coming back. <laughs> An NBC motion picture event. In a faraway land, he found his heart. I've never felt this way about anyone. And a magical kingdom where a forbidden love... Our family's gonna fight each other. ...sparked an epic war... I warned you to pay the ultimate price. ...that threatens their world and ours. The seasons have all got mixed up. What's happening? From the creators of Merlin, Leprechauns, NBC Next Sunday.
nicely, Antonio Dribbles? Huh? Yeah, yeah. And notice how neatly his shirt's tucked in? What is this? Annoying coach day? You're right, I won't say nothing more. Oh, Antonio, great pass! <laughs> Let me have a pencil. Sorry, Coach, I don't have to last you the whole day. What? Well, ever since the school board cut our budget, I've been trying to save money. As team manager, I am under a lot of pressure. <laughs> Saving money goes against everything I believe in. I am the shirt. All right, bring it in. Now, I have only two starting spots left. So, if you've got cash for the coach, so me the money. <laughs> Kidding. I'll let you know tomorrow. <laughs> All right, guys. Very funny. I'm happy. Ha ha. What are you talking about? I'm in the locker room, you know, having a little me time. <laughs> when I find this in the locker <laughs> when I'm through with you, your face is going to look like this ball. Ooh, that can keep them hard. Why would anybody want to hurt you? <laughs> they wouldn't. Oh, come on, which one of you guys did it? It wasn't me, man. Well, whoever it was, it looks like they got a real problem. Yeah, you better watch that. Oh, my God, this is a goof. Somebody's just yanking the chain. Is this a face that somebody would want to smash every day? Yeah. <laughs> okay, if you're not worried, we're not worried. I'm not worried. <laughs> So you're saying we have to wash our own uniforms and pitch for gas this season? That's lame. Hey, I'm not the one who cut the budget, so dillweeds on the school board. I'm surprised those dillweeds aren't making us wax the court. Well, actually, <laughs> I made up a schedule. I can't live like this. First lock room only has soap instead of shampoo. Now my scalp is totally breaking. <laughs> Extra money, we'll end up sharing the bus with a stinking wrestling team. Oh, well, uh, come on, there's not a good way we can raise a good How about a raffle? Hey, I know we can raffle off. I think me. Gee, it's gotta be something that somebody wants. Hey, well, uh, why don't we raffle off a stereo? Yeah, that'd be cool. People get all over there. My dad can get us one for half price. Oh. Loving. Well, I don't believe it. This has gone too far. Oh, what happened? There's somebody slapped my new tires. Just took the light and ripped them open. Somebody is definitely after you, Sil. You think? What are you doing? I don't know. When I find out, then I'm going to let the air out of this face. Either cut it out or get her breath in. I can't help it. My nervous is constantly down. Look, in two minutes, I'm going to find out if my whole life's going to change. Eugene, big and start is cool and everything, but it's not going to change my life. <gasps> Are you kidding? If I get this, I'm a baby. I'll walk down the halls and the girls will be all, Look, I'm going to get Jane. Welcome, we go out, get old Jane. <laughs> Eyes open, Eugene. Now, why would they say that? Because it flies open, Eugene. <laughs> uh, I was thinking about that guy who slashed your tires. You said you know who it is? Well, no. But your dad's a cop. You know, maybe he can check for fingerprints. Look, I can take care of it myself. I don't want to get my dad into this. Why not? No, I don't have to go run into dad. It's maybe a little thing. I can handle it. Okay, there's the good news. Or the bad news, depending on who you are. <laughs> But just a sec, I want to say no matter who is on this list, you're all winners. I'm proud of each of you. The sun will come out tomorrow. And you gave it your all, okay? I made it. If you get it, you took your G. Yes! Like this? Get that round to pop the old Jane Pop. Come on, come on. <laughs> Who won? Oh, you didn't get my little note? 
Little message I left in your times. Now you? What's your problem, man? What problem is your dad arresting me from you the whole year? Well, that's got nothing to do with me. Doesn't matter. Hey, you take these. So we can help that. Okay? <laughs> you. Go take this to your man. What are you doing? This is over. Who's that guy? Is that you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. It's your third air ball in a row. Oh, sorry. Hit something for me. The backboard, a window, anything. I'm not picky. <laughs> All right, that's practice. Silk, word. I know I'm a little off today. So what is it? Girls, homework. Some embarrassing teenage problem I won't want to talk about. <laughs> no, no, coach. I'm okay. Really. Uh, coach, we might know why Silk's been having a bad practice. There's something he's not telling you. Coach, well, what he's trying to tell you is that Felicity found out that her boyfriend's old girlfriend's living in New York. And... Wait, don't tell me. I taped it. <laughs> Coach, don't worry about me. I'm good. Not in the court, you're not. Get it together by tomorrow. Right. So why didn't you tell him? Because I can handle this myself. You don't even know who this guy is. I mean, none of us have ever seen him before. And is your dad at least looking for him? No, he won't tell his dad about it. Wait, some guy he arrests comes back and threatens you, and you don't even tell him? Come on, Silk. You're smarter than that. So, well, you guys get off it? Like, I don't have to go look into my dad like some little whip. The guy pulled a knife on you. Your dad's not going to think you're weak. Look, he was just trying to scare me. Let it go. I'll be okay. Oh, I know you will. Because I'm not going to let you out of my sight. Me neither. We're going to be like your posses. Yeah, I'm in. I'll be a bodyguard. <laughs> Just like one of those Jackie Chan movies. No. <laughs> now, at the end of you guys, this ramble's really going to help the team. Not to toot my own horn, but I did get the tickets. Toot, toot. <laughs> Looks like every kid in school bought one. And I'm hoping the big kid wins. <laughs> okay, everyone, let's get started. I want to thank everyone for coming and supporting the team. Go Tornadoes! Woohoo! Give me a T, give me an O, give me an R! <laughs> They're all yours. <laughs> okay, it's time for the big spin. Christy? The winner of the brand new stereo with surround sound and bass blaster speakers is the holder of ticket number 35676. Whoever has the winning number, raise your hand. You got tickets that all have the same number? Eugene! 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 Wait. Wait. Wait, wait. Let's talk about sharing. Bodyguards. If anything were to happen to you, man, I don't know what I would do. You'd probably take my locker because it's bigger than yours. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Listen, so we're your boys. From the time you leave your house in the morning to the time you get home, one of us is going to be with you every second of the day. Guys, check it out. The corn dog stands on fire. Cool. Good day, man. Either us or you can wind up dead. <laughs> if I have to live the rest of my life with you guys on my butt, <laughs> take me now! <laughs> I gotta use the bathroom. <sighs> this is a one man job. Oh, 
you. Nothing. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Than I am. Uh, <laughs> this is gonna be one long ride home. Okay. 
so you guys don't need to see me anymore? Nah, we're out of here. Just as soon as we drain the water out of Coach's CD player. <laughs> okay, bye. Come on, let's get stuck inside. Hey, I will up the hose. <laughs> Worthy. Doesn't matter if you vote for me, just as long as you vote. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! <laughs> oh, thanks for your support. <laughs> Have you voted for your queen yet? I'd rather burst into flames. <laughs> well, can't you vote first? <laughs> Look, nobody cares about you or your stupid dance. You didn't be back in your coffin? <laughs> What's wrong with those people? Forget them, they're gross. They hate everything. Yeah, those groats are so grotesque. Oh, hello, that's why they're called groats. <laughs> yeah, nothing gets by you. <laughs> See you guys. See you. you know, um, I got a free period if you want to go to the library and check each other out. Oh. I can't. I have to meet my new lab partner, some guy named Sid. You're Christy Ford, right? 
Yeah? I'm sad you knew our partner. Are you sure she's not the experiment? <laughs> Weren't you going to the library? Are you going to be okay? I only bite when there's a full moon. Now, <laughs> see you later. <laughs> so, you're Sid. Look, let's just get through the semester without killing each other. Not killing each other's good? Why don't we meet after school at the stadium to work on our project? Oh, gee, that would be fun. Then can we go to the Gap? Yeah, you want to? <laughs> Uh, no. Let's go to the morgue. You mean where they keep dead people? This morgue's a coffee house. You know, behind the old burned-out water tower. Yeah, but isn't that where all those weird... <laughs> yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah, lots. Well, I have cheerleading practice until four. Oh, that's perfect, because I have band practice. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> See you at four. So, boys, know anyone dating a 22-year-old full-grown woman? Oh, yeah, me. <laughs> Get out, man. I speak the truth. Man, I met her at the university bookstore. I don't know, it's hard to believe you with an older woman or you at the bookstore. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Wendy is a college graduate, which means she's smart enough to appreciate me. <laughs> you genius. Did you tell her you're still in high school? <laughs> you know, boys, sometimes honesty is not the best policy. And Wendy is one of those times. Go daring. is one scary outfit. <laughs> so, how do you like the morgue? Um, well, it's very dark and very different. Are we safe here? <laughs> Not really. What? Relax, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, I get it, you're trying to scare me. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. It's working. <laughs> but I got used to it. So how old were you when you found out you were adopted? Um, almost ten. How about you? Two and a half. Wow, your parents told you early. They didn't have to tell me. They're Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a joke. Uh, of course it wasn't. <laughs> so, what do you think? That bad, huh? No, no, you look good. I'm just laughing because I'm sitting here with the jock goddess and I'm actually not hating it. Jock goddess? Oh, that's her name for cheerleaders. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> okay, you ruined it. Sissy, can I ask you something? How come you're... You know, why are you a, um... Oh, you mean the groped thing? It's like, ever since I was little, I never really fit in with the other kids. You know, I kept waiting for them to invite me to their parties or join their clubs. Never happened. Oh, that's so sad. It sucked. Oh. But when I came to high school, I found other kids like me, so I started hanging out with them. And now I don't even want to hang out with anyone else. So being a groat's kind of like saying, you can't reject me anymore because I'm going to reject you first. Never thought of it like that, but yeah. That and I don't need a costume for Halloween. <laughs> See, that was a joke. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna get this. So let's get cranking on our project. Okay. Hurry up, guys. You're going to be late for calculus. Uh, that'd be a problem, Silk, if we took calculus. <laughs> <laughs> well, you may want to sign up once you eyeball the fine young hate subbing for Mr. Sachs this oh, week. Oh, yeah. I think I seen her around, man. Oh, man, is she that gorgeous redhead with the great... Knowledge of calculus? Nice try. I'll leave so you can have your boy attack. 
You know, last week I would have been as pathetic as you losers, but since I met Wendy, man, I don't even look at other women. Oh, well, then close your eyes, because here comes the hot new teacher. Miss Calculicious. <laughs> That's Wendy! Over here is the South Hallway, which is on the north end of the school. Let me tell you, nothing around here makes sense. Hey, Manning, stay alive. <laughs> oh, man, that was close. Man, that's a girl you're dating? What do I do? I mean, if she finds out I'm in high school, she'll dump me. Don't worry. Once she really gets to know you, <laughs> she'll dump you anyway. <laughs> So who's this new friend you want us to meet? Oh, just someone from biology class. Game's over, freaks. Get lost. We're still playing. Wrong. We're playing. <laughs> that is so unfair, the way people treat growths. Oh, come on. They're asking for it looking like that. Yeah, they're a walking horror movie. It's not like they're a cult or something. They just dress differently. Yeah, but what's with all that black lipstick and eyeliner? Yeah, and the girls look weird, too. <laughs> You guys are so mean. Who cares about them? Yeah, they hate us. I wonder why. Sid, I was just going to call you. Why, you didn't think I was going to show? I'm here. I even wore my dress-up stud. <laughs> How about um, you and me just do something tonight? What about your friends? Um, well, Mary Beth and Julie have to stay home and study. Do they know that there's two people in there that look just like them? <laughs> look, it just isn't a good night for this. Oh, I get it. Your friends don't want to be seen with a groat. Well, they'd like you if they got to know you. But they don't want to get to know me. Don't you get that? Okay, but we can still be friends. Not likely. You care way too much what they think. Thanks for wasting my time. Antonio. Yeah, if Chrissy keeps hanging around those weirdos, she's gonna ruin her reputation and lose all her friends. You guys are making way too big a deal of this. Okay. Don't complain to us when she starts running out of things to pierce. <laughs> <gasps> now the growths are sitting at our booth. Oh. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> this is our table. Shoe. I was here first. Christy, what are you doing? Just showing the growth some support. What, is that a stud in your tongue? No, dum-dum, it's a tic-tac. <laughs> Christy, aren't you getting carried away with this be kind to growths thing? Will you tell her it's not a thing? I'm trying to make a point about accepting people, even when they look different. No, I'm proud of you. It takes a lot of guts doing what you're doing. Yeah, a lot more to wear what she's wearing. <laughs> Thank you, Antonio. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go meet some friends. Oh my gosh, it's a cheerleader from beyond the grave. What do you think? Well, give me a second. You know, I've never seen you in normal clothes before. Mm. Do you like it? Yeah, but there's something missing. I know, let's go poke a hole in your tongue. <laughs> funny. You're kidding, right? Right? A 22-year-old substitute teacher. Oh, an older woman and experienced in the ways of love. <laughs> well, that makes one of you. <laughs> what if she finds out you're a high school student? Yeah, she might give you detention. <laughs> you see, Julie, that's why I don't date you high school chicks anymore. Mm, and we all thank you. Oh. <laughs> and as far as Wendy finding out, yeah. I've got eyes in the back of my head. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking for the girls' locker room. Wendy! Eugene! What are you doing here? I, um, uh, I'm coaching. <laughs> I'm the assistant coach. <laughs> Don't just stand there. Come and run those laps. Run, 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 run. <laughs> so, we'll go to the dance tomorrow night. A little you, a little me, a little spring, a little fling. <laughs> Now be ready at seven. I'm ready right now. Whoa, whoa. 
My man is cool. Like the other side of the pillow. <laughs> looks like we all got dates. Not me. I am flying solo. <laughs> what happened to Wendy? Well, dude, if he asks her to the dance, there's just a tiny chance that she'll figure out that he's in high school. So I told her I was going out of town. And I've got this thing so wired, I'm untouchable. <laughs> So, we're short of chaperone for that spring thing tomorrow night, and I was wondering if you could help us out. Sure. I'm not doing anything this weekend. School dance sounds like fun. Fun? You haven't been teaching very long, have you? Christy, flipped out, and that's the only explanation. I'm just glad she voted for Queen before all this happened. Hey, guys. Did you hear about Christy? What now? Somebody beat her up last night. Why would anyone want to beat up Christy? Is she okay? I hope so. I'm really worried about her. Her mom said she was pretty banged up. Oh, my... Oh, Christy, you okay? Ah, uh, oh, you poor thing. Who did this to you? I was with Sid and her friends, and these two big guys came out of nowhere. They called us groats, and they started kicking us. And if I find out who did this, I'm going to kick his face in. No, Antonio, I already talked to the police. Oh, this is horrible. People are so mean. What do you care if a bunch of groats get beat up? Christy, you're not a groat. You're my best friend. So if I were a groat, it'd be OK to beat me up? That's not what she's saying. You were just dressed like a groat. I don't need the clothes and the makeup. You're still Christy. Yeah, well, underneath all the clothes and the makeup, Sid and her friends are people, too. They're really nice people. I'm sure they are. How would you even know? You've been so busy judging them, you never even took the time to get to know them. Antonio, can you walk me to class? I'm gonna go to the girls' room. I'll go with you. Okay. We'll see you in a week. <laughs> Christy, we really need to talk. I really don't think there's anything to talk about. Come on, Antonio. So, Coach, I'm not exactly sure what a chaperone's supposed to do. Here's all you need to know. Stay away from the kids, stay close to the wings, Bring your own dressing. <laughs> Excuse me, coach. <laughs> Eugene? Wendy! What are you doing here? The coach asked me to chaperone. I thought you were going out of town. <laughs> well, I kind of fell through at the last minute. So, we're both chaperoning. Yeah! <laughs> chaperoning. Would you like some punch? I'd love some. He got away with it again. You know, for a calculus teacher, she's pretty stupid. All right, listen up. The bolts are all in. And it's time to announce your spring fling, queen and king. That's something I can't live without. And your spring fling king is, jeez, <laughs> Eugene Brown. You? You're a student? <sighs> Must be some other Eugene Brown. <laughs> All hail King Eugene! Way to go, buddy! Yeah! Woo! You are a student. I can't believe you're still in high school. <sighs> hey, look, Wendy, I'm sorry. I mean, now that you know the truth, you probably want to dump me. Actually, Eugene, you're not really younger than me. But you graduated from college. I mean, you've got to be at least, what, four years older than me? Well, unless you skipped a grade or something. Well, actually, I skipped six grades. <laughs> what? I'm only 16. I just got my driver's license two weeks ago. What can I say? I'm a genius. 
So, am I too young for you? <clears throat> well, I mean, I'll let it go this time. But... <laughs> you know, from now on, we gotta be straight up with each other. <laughs> Moving on. Deering's new spring fling queen is Mary Beth Pepperton. Way to go, Mary Beth. Um, I know this is where I'm supposed to thank everyone for voting for me, and I do thank you, but there are things that matter a lot more than dances and crowns. Last night, my best friend Christy and some of her friends were beaten up for being groats. I know you're saying who cares about groats. I used to say that too. But I was wrong to judge them for the way they look. I mean, it's no better than judging people for their color or the country they come from or because they're short or fat or gay or because they practice a religion that we don't understand. These are not reasons to hate people and they sure aren't reasons to hurt anyone. So, Sid, I wanna say that I am sorry for the way I've treated you and your friends. wanted this crown for a long time, I want to give it to the person who showed me that I was being intolerant. Christy, you deserve this more than I do. No, you really deserve it for what you just said. <laughs> Besides, you already bought two outfits to go with it. <laughs> Can you forgive me? Can you forgive us? Yeah. Marriage wouldn't happen. They said it wouldn't last. Okay, they were right. The big breakup is Tuesday. Your husband looks like a leprechaun. You think? <laughs> then, on Third Rock, plastic surgeon David Hasselhoff cuts up on Dick. And Will gets fired, but Grace comforts him. Told you so, told you, told you, told you so. Mother of God, make her stop. And a bonus, just shoot me. New comedy on NBC Tuesday.